Hi, so regular viewers to the channel are gonna know that at the moment I'm somewhat engaged with an unhealthy obsession with bamboo. Loving this stuff and finding it really easy to work with and a delight to do things and uses a minimum tool set to do it, meaning anybody can do it. And that's what really appeals to me. Now, a few folks have made some great suggestions about what you could do next. The one I really loved actually was, hey Rob, make an e-scooter. I thought, yeah, that's awesome. And that really settled in my mind. And sooner or later, I was going to get round to it for sure. But I got a telephone call that day. A friend of mine was having a chuck out. He said, Rob, do you want to come and have a sort through, mate, and see if there's anything you actually want? And I thought, yeah, OK, you never know what you're going to come across. Went up to his house. One of the things he was chucking away was an e-scooter. Just a kid's e-scooter, a typical sort of thing. You know, you buy it for a Christmas present, the kid rides it around for a week or two, ends up in the garage, and it's not looked at for many, many years. And that's exactly the story that happened here. So I picked out the drivetrain. There it is. It's the back wheel with this kind of cog on it. It's got a belt drive that goes there, and it's got this 120-watt motor with the corresponding drive. So definitely underpowered, but it's an entire drivetrain, and we're going to give it a go. Tested the motor. The motor works brilliantly. Tested the batteries, and of course, they were shot. So the batteries have gone. The motor and the drivetrain is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to make the thing out of bamboo. So to make this thing, we need some bamboo. And this is the stuff I'm going to use. It's stripped from my store. It's an eight foot long piece of cane. And that means at the bottom, it's got a 20 millimeter dimension, which is that bit there. Now that's 60 centimeters long. It's going to leave me a foot plate of around about 50 centimeters, which is what an adult uh, bike needs. And it's stuck in that bit of bamboo there. That bit's cut off from here and that's 45 millimeters in diameter. And I got that from UK Bamboo which is an online service and sent me this stuff. A bundle of 20 sticks of that cost me six pounds. A bundle of 10 sticks of that, I think it was about 20 pounds. Anyway, I'm using that much of it. So we cut out the bamboo and we're gonna put it together in the same way that we did in 1152 and 1156, which was the uh, E-quad and the bike frame that we made, which is stitch and glue, really. You drill out the hole at 20 mil, you slot your bamboo in there, then we need to drill a little hole in here, stitch it round with some twine, put some resin on it, and that's going to be our frame. So I'm going to build that frame using that technique. So a couple of interesting details actually about the steering head. First thing is the steering column itself I'm going to make from this bed of bamboo because I've got these. These are the steering head ball bearing cups. They come off a bike actually, and they slot rather nicely into that bamboo. And that means I'd be able to put the ball bearings in there and it's going to wear on metal. Now, bamboo is incredibly strong in that direction, but splits easily in that direction. So we need to make sure that we bind that properly. But that's going to be the steering column. The actual steering column itself, which is this bit here, I'm going to shove these forks into it. And you'll notice I've put a drill hole there and a slot cut there. That drill hole actually stops any split from progressing up the bamboo. It gets to the drill and it stops it. The slot can be clamped down with a couple of hose clips onto those forks, and that's how we're going to make the steering column in itself. So I used a hole cutting saw right here at a 15 degree angle, and the hole saw was 45 mil, which is the same diameter as the pipe, and now that fits rather neatly into there, and then we can bind that up. So about two or three pounds worth of bamboo and a ball of string and you've got yourself an e-scooter frame. Now I've used the string because I really like that idea. I like the natural uh, fibre as a reinforcement. But if you're looking for something a bit more in your mind permanent, then carbon fibre or fibreglass, why not? Now this is the kind of thing I really think should be made out of something like bamboo. I mean, the donor that we use, which we've kept the cups from, the handlebars and these uh, back mounting plates, was a kid's e-scooter. So that e-scooter uh, goes the same way as all of these things. It was bought as a present, it was used as a couple of weeks, and then it just sits in the shed of the garage until it rots. Isn't something like bamboo an ideal material instead of using all of that plastic? Anyway, that's me on my soapbox for a second or two. All we've got to do with this really is uh, bolt the whole thing back together and we're going to have ourselves an e-scooter. Okay, so there's the bamboo frame all finished. Now, I've already stood on this and it takes my weight just fine, but clearly there's still other things to do with it. I need a battery box, I need a foot plate, I need to stick the motor in and put the bits on the handlebars. So that'll be in the next video. But this structure, 
I think is awesome. It's an awesome way of building things. It was really easy to build. I mean, I used a saw and string, which you can't get simpler than that, can you? So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe.